Okay then my friends, so now we've got a Ninja controller to handle all the requests to these Ninja routes right here. The welcome routes not get anything to do with the Ninja model or data, so that's still sitting at the top on its own without any friends, but the rest of these are all hooked up to that Ninja controller. Now, I want you to imagine that at some point in the future, we have more Ninja routes, and those are all hooked up to the Ninja controller as well. And then at some point later down the line, we decide we want to restructure the paths of these routes. So for example, I might want the path to be forward slash directory forward slash ninjas for the index page. And for the other routes, I might want to add the directory part at the start of the path too. Well, that's fine. We could do that and everything would still work, but it would also mean that anywhere we link to those routes within the views, we'd have to update those links as well so that they point to the new paths. For example, in the layout component in the navbar, we link to forward slash ninjas and also forward slash ninjas forward slash create. So we'd have to update those links for them to point to the newly updated route paths, including that directory part. Now, this isn't so bad if you only have a couple of links that you need to update and you know where they are. But when you might have loads of links to update, it becomes a bit of a problem. And so because of this, and for other reasons as well, I like to use what's known as named routes. Now, named routes are basically just that. We assign a name to a route. And then when we link to that route from a view anywhere in the template, then we link to that name rather than the path itself. Then Laravel dynamically injects the correct path for us based on the route with that name. So that means if we then change the route paths at some point in the future, we don't have to manually update all the links to direct to those paths in the views because we'd be using the route name instead of the path and Laravel would figure it out for us. So then I don't actually want to change the route path itself, but I do want to add names to the routes and update any links to use those names. To do this then, we can just come to the end of the routes and chain on the name method and then as an argument, we give this route a name. Now the naming convention is to name the route the same as the handler function for that route within the controller file. So the handler function for this one was index, so we could call it index. However, it might be that at some point we have another resource hooked up to a different controller and that controller's index function. So then we'd have a route name clash because we might wanna call them both index according to that naming convention. So to solve this, we can just add the resource name from the URL before the index itself. So in our case, we would say ninjas.index, and then there'd be no chance of this name clashing with a different resource in the future. All right, cool. So that's the first one done. Let's do the other two as well. So the next one, we'll add on the name method, and this time we'll give it a name of ninjas.create. And then finally, we need to add on the name method to the last one, and we'll give this one a name of ninjas.show. And again, create and show the controller function names for these routes. Anyway, now we can find any links to these routes and update them. So let's head to the layout component first of all, because we've got a couple of links in the nav bar that we can update. So you're gonna see at the moment that we've got two links and the href attribute in both cases points directly to the path. But now we're gonna delete that path and instead we'll use curly braces to resolve a dynamic value. And that's gonna be created by using a built-in Laravel helper function called route, which we can invoke. Then we can pass the route name into this as a string. So I'm gonna use single quotes and then I'm gonna say ninjas.index to point to the index route. Next up, I'm going to do the same for the next link. So we delete the current path and we replace it with a double set of curly braces. Then we use the route function. And as an argument, we can pass in the name of the create route, which this time is ninjas.create. All right, cool. So now both of these should still work, even if we ever update the actual paths of these routes within the routes file. Okay, so there's another place we need to update the links and that is on the index page where we link to each individual ninja. So let's open up the index view and we should see that for each ninja we pass in the href attribute into the custom card component. And then that href gets used on an anchor tag inside that component. So then we just need to update the value here that we pass in, only this time we also need to somehow specify the route wildcard, which is the ID. Now you can see that currently we add that to the href at the end, but when we use the route name, we can just pass in the wildcard as an argument. So let's delete all of this and we're gonna replace it with a double set of curly braces. Then again, we're gonna use the route function. 
So the first argument is going to be the route name again, which this time is ninjas.show. And now as a second argument, we can pass the route wildcard value, which is the ninja variable and then the ID value on that. And then this value automatically gets attributed to the ID wildcard within the route. So then let's save this file and now we can test everything out in the browser. All right, so let's start with the create link up here. Well, yep, yeah, that goes to the create page. Awesome. This one goes back to the index page. And then down here, if we click on one of these buttons to view the details, we see the show page and we see information about that ninja. So this looks like it's all working. Awesome. 